Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. I'm on CEO Mocha Lover, which right now, we are currently War of the Vietnamese because there was a very, kind of actually, a small event detailing, I should have shown you it, but it is what it is. It was actually really, really small. Really nothing major there. And, uh, uh let's see. Cambodia is in our satellite, or is in our sphere, and are a satellite of us. But before we do that, let's do Braza's Expedition. The Franco Italian adventurer, Piera, Piera. Savorgnan de Braza explored the Congo region in the 1870s and 1880s and opened up Central Africa on the right bank of the Congo River to French colonization. Or colonization. The city of Brazzaville in the French Congo is named after him. Cool. And also off screen, Sweden. Well, they got the Congo. What the heck? Wait. Is it. Oh boy. Am I missing out? I'm a, it's, oh, it is 1880. God dang it. Uh, colonial stuff. No, uh, maybe it was just the beginning of stuff, but, uh, um, okay, that's weird. Of course, I think historically Spain did have this, which means we gotta beat them up someday, but they're allied with quite a few people. I uh, don't remember the Germans owning Gabon, but, oh, they're at war with some people. Okay, that makes more sense then. Mocha, huh. Okay, well, whatever. Well, that's very weird. Um, the map mode you do want to use for, uh, colonial stuff is what? Civilization levels, there's that. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I find it. I know someone will can put that in the comments, but where is it? Region Revolt Risk. There it is. It is I. Which we were just here, so. Um, off screen, I did was able to start colonizing or, like, you know, put some influence down here. So we only have a very limited number of points. I'm trying to build up more naval ports. I need to build more ships more quickly, so we'll see what happens. Regardless, like I said, we're at war with Vietnam. I've already just gotten the war justification to go to war with Sarawak. Hopefully, they're not anyone's influence or no one's trying to influence them at all, which it doesn't look like it, except maybe the Russian Empire. So let's quickly move in here as well and have a good old time establishing a protectorate over Sarawak because we can. Ah, Vietnam. I love Vietnam. Good morning. Oh, Vietnam. Hello. Java. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, I hate rebels. Hey, look at this. Invest in a colony. Oh, no, UK. No, 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 no. You're not going to get that. No, 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 no. Oh crap, we got rebels down here too. Ooh, that's not good. Go ahead and re retreat if we can, because morale's just really, really bad. Oh, we won. Give us another month before we do that. And Fiji. Oh, look at this. Nice. Uh, we'll create the state over here, which is fine. Uh, you might as well do that protectorate. Not bad. Uh, we have only so much money here, so let's do some of this. And then New Caledonia. Uh, eh, I guess technically it's not even a colony. It's just our own. No! What? Well, how do they get Fiji? Oh, maybe they already had that part of Fiji, but how about this part of Fiji? Uh, let's take a look. I. Is it? No, that's the UK stuff. Um, yeah, that's something that could probably be improved. Colonial range is not good enough. Obviously, this is already settled. Where is... Oh, is it up here? It is up here. Nice. So we have French Fiji, which isn't bad. Nice. Man, we definitely need more colonial points. Holy crap. I, I, as you can see at the top, I'm doing screw-propelled steamers. And then we can get some, some of this stuff. But I'm going to go straight for steel steamers next for pre-dreadnoughts. Even though I, we've done revolution counter-revolution, we got electricity. Even though I could really use this one, but it's going to have to wait. But let's see. Treaty of Hanoi. Oh, the Vietnamese are in dire straits. They cannot hold off for much longer. Perhaps we should offer them the chance to go to the negotiating table and end this war between us on terms very much in our own favor, of course. We might get infamy. Which we did, but the Dai Viet Emperor agrees. The Vietnamese rulership has signed a peace treaty, granting us a state and concession. Excellent. Okay. That was actually a lot faster than I thought it would happen. Um, establish African farms and mines, which we need. Investment banks, which we definitely want to do. We want to end this thing too, but we have to be at peace, so let's finish up this war first. Oh. Oh, French Indochina, China. Look at that. With the colonial government taking form in Saigon, French administrators have advised elevating the region to the full department, clearly with eyes on expanding French colonial rule to neighbors in Southeast Asia. Okay. We get 11 prestige. Nice. Very nice. I love Southeast Asia. And hopefully, this part of uh, Vietnam won't be too rebellious towards us sometime and end up being a major issue for us in the future, or for any American, we'll just put it like that. Nice. Alright, so let's go and get uh, this stuff too. I mean, it is 1881, and we're just now researching it, which isn't too bad, but still not super great. There you go. Head on in. And I, just in case. I mean, it, it'll pop up to say if you, any of your colonies need some more help or work or anything like that. Just totally fine. One of the comments says that we should take out all the rest of the Dutch territory up here. 
Uh, oh, look at that. So cool. No. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, take out the rest of the Dutch territory and then annex all their islands. Well, the way it works, I think they have to lose all of their colonies first, as well as the other states like Friesland. And then you can take the main capital area. So it's not like Hoi 4. So. And also Austria-Hungary and Italy killing themselves. Uh, Austria-Hungary wanted me to go into the war against Italy, but I thought, nah, let's not, let's not do that. I, don't, I have no reason to kill them off. At least for now. And they still kind of like us, so. Both of them still kind of like us, which is good. But let's see. Yeah, cool. Uh, increase relations. And how's Sarawak doing? Let's go down. Well, they're doing alright still. It's unfortunate that they're doing alright. But over 90% of our population can read, which I think is a great thing. And actually, can we put any more armed forces? No, we cannot. I don't... Okay, they went to war with Bali. I thought they went to war with Bali before. Java. Alright, we are at war with them. Ooh. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, they have a lot of sulfur and a lot of people down there. I would love to take that, but... Uh, I would love to do that. Java? Annex Sarawak? No? Okay, whatever. Uh, Sarawak. Oh, it's a war of honor. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to get involved. German acquisition of German Luongo. I can fight the Germans, but nah, let's wait. Naguna Sofala concession. And uh, second, that's second acquisition, huh? Huh. Execute the guy. I don't even want to read that. Just execute him. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love it. Cool, but we gotta keep an eye on our money too. So, and go back to war with the Chinese because we love the Chinese. Colonial, colonial archaeology. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Uh, I need to probably keep three armies up here at a minimum. So, more prestige, shall we? Mm. No, I'm gonna keep you guys down here actually, just because we're gonna go to war with these guys next. So. Help uh, do this a little bit faster so that we can, you know, blockade them and that will make it faster. So that'd be nice. Oh, I love it. Now it's going to go super speed. Nice. Kuching. Oh. Man, the UK. I've got to, we got to destroy the UK. we got to destroy Germany. Oh, look at that. Solomon Isles. What do you want for me? I want to take more, but I can't. Actually... Mahatists? Oh god, no. That's why we have you guys here, just in case. But the enemy's down. And to do more colonizing for this, we need the Dark Continent, which we need to get, or have at least before 1890. As soon as it hits January 1st, 1890, then we can pretty much probably go ahead and do this. We need military logistics and steel steamers, which we're doing steel steamers right now. And then we have to go down to military logistics right there, so. Let's go take some time. Definitely take some serious time. But that's alright. We'll get there by 1890. And we should be able to colonize pretty darn well. I hope. Oh, they, they actually sent guys over there. Wow. That's kind of crazy. But we should have this done pretty pretty soon, actually. actually. Yeah. The Qingdao Treaty Port? Uh, if you'd like to read about this, I thought we already had a Treaty Port thing up there. Um, okay. Excellent. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Like the Pokemon. Like the Pokemon. Monitors are cool, but it's 1880. I think we want to get pre dreadnoughts. Or just dreadnoughts. Oh, do you have something here? Yes, very nice, very good. 91% of the population can read. Actually, do we have any? Yes, yes. Yes. And I'm going to throw in Hussars. Very bueno, my friends. Very, very bueno. Uh, we can start doing these guys over here, but then. Oh, Ironclads. Uh, I might have to fade and fade out, and I don't want to do that while we're almost done with this war anyway, so. Population not too bad. We have a total of 65 million. Doesn't mean they can all read, though. Alright, there we go. And Sarawak, propose peace. Not too bad, my friends. That's look actually looking a lot better, even though we need to take a Brunei next. Oh, then the Japanese... Are you kidding? The Japanese sphere. Oh, how good, Lord Leofel. And we're taking more points, but whatever. We'll have a good time regardless. Well, maybe I shouldn't have faded in and faded out. But we have the Cambodian Protectorate. Fearing invasion by the Siamese, the Cambodians have requested that we allow them to join the Dai Viet and protection by our nation. Oh, we, we inherit Cambodia. Nice. And of course, we got the more infamy about production in Cambodia. Now that Cambodia is in our nice little neat hands, the opportunity to shift its production out of agriculture for the internal market to an exportation-driven model is put forward by several French companies. In Paris, discussions begin with several companies putting forward proposals on what to focus and what to incentivize. From the jungles of Southeast Asia, a new era of, uh, for agriculture and the Cambodian provinces are dawning. One where rice and rubber will play a vital role, but that one we can steer. Companies know what to do. Tropical woods, not bad. Focus on teaching tobacco. Tobacco's all the rage in Europe right now. Coffee is a rare commodity. 
Uh, we don't fear with the natives. Oh, who, who are we? We are going to interfere. I love interfering with the natives. So let's take a look here. Let's uh, see. So you have de oh, uh, what's in kind of high demand? Huh? Tropical wood. It's actually started to, starting to I wouldn't say bottom out, but it's middling now. It's not doing super great. Uh, where's our tobacco? Ooh. Oh, I want rubber. I need as much rubber as possible and oil. Uh, this is cotton, iron, industrial goods, consumer goods. Uh, tea? It's, it's eh, I I honestly prefer that we get tropical wood over tea. So tropical wood's better. Uh, where's tobacco? We have opium. We all love opium. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah, yeah tobacco. Uh, need? Wow, they use it. There's a lot of people who use tobacco here. Holy crud. That's a lot. How about T? Well, T16. I forgot to look at this. Uh, 90 for producers for tropical wood, which is not bad. Uh, in high demand, rubber. Um, Jesus. Uh, I want rubber, though. Mm, rice and rubber will play a better role. Companies know what is best. Tropical wood. Lots of tropical wood. I would like a little bit of tobacco and top tropical wood. Tobacco and tropical wood. Tobacco's all the rage right now. Companies know what is best. Actually, how much is coffee? How much do we need coffee for? Because I'd like to use them right now, but... Holy bad words! Coffee even is more. I wish you could just select which one you, you want. Coffee, coffee, tropical... Honestly, that almost seems like that would be a really good thing to do there. Now, if it switches to rubber, I will gladly welcome that change. Also, I just... Oh, I pieced out with Java. It just... It didn't even matter. And now we just have fun these guys yet? We are. Cool. Uh, with some rebels, but you know we always have rebels. What do you expect? Uh, let's see, minimum, maximum work hours? Nope, nope. Um, the deployment of these health, universal health care? No, we don't believe in that here. At least not yet until we're forced to believe in it. Uh, but what do people want the most? Pro military? They don't, they don't really care. Acceptable pensions looks like. Um, all right, and the next one. Well, actually, I need to close it out. Uh, the French Siamese border treaty. So that includes within its borders a number of conquered peoples: Laotians, Khmer. Are Hamer and Vietnamese. A recent incident has brought to light an opportunity for us. Demand that Siam release these lands, which you can then incorporate into our Indochina holdings, or face our wrath. <sighs> Every time we get infamy, they have agreed. Uh, they bow before demands. Good relations have been restored. A wise move. Okay, we got a lot more prestige. Nice. And the Marina Monarchy. Following a local uprising in 1897, France, who had long held Madagascar in a sphere of influence, finally deposed the royal house and annexed the island. Our presence in Madagascar has reached a point where the French influence is felt in every level of their society. They are protected in all but name, and time has come for us to determine whether that status should be made official. Shall we agree to make Madagascar protectorate and French colony, or support their independence as a friendly ally? Protectorate, or not force ourselves? Oh, I'm going to force myself. Mm. Mm. And proclaim our protectorate over the Laotian state. The Lo Laotians will not be able to withstand much longer against their na larger neighbors, not without our help. We should approach them and offer our protection, uh, and uh, this, it's a civilized thing to do. Cool. Every time. Every bad word time. But annexation of the Ivory Coast, several English, Dutch, and Portuguese settlements, and trade posts were established and eventually faded away in the Ivory Coast. If we were to establish a protector in the mainland, we need to start controlling this coast. Oh, they lose literacy. We get something. Alright. Cool. Anything else? Sign the, I'm still not signing the Geneva Convention. Uh, declare a protector over... Oh. We need mass politics. I love Vietnam. I don't want more of me, though. Houseman's renovations. We need impressionism. Oh, actually, that would be really nice. Yeah, we'll do that one. The Algerian Cotton, 1881. Compound Steam Engine? Okay. Togo, claim Togo. Uh, what do we need? One of the following owners must be civilized to show me. Or, France is a colonial nation. Groundwater Schools is not a colonial nation. And, well, Wagadougou? So we need Mosi, Dahomey, or Ashanti, which we might end up going there soon. Dahomey. Oh, oh, hello! Hello there. Beautiful. Oh, we can actually arm the people here. Nice. Oh, we might just go to where here next then. Oh, yes. Yes, please. And most Togo, of course. Volta. I think we'll go to war with these guys to make it look a little nicer because we already have part of the Ivory Coast. So that'd be pretty good. Oh, look at that. And I don't think there's anything else here. So that's not too bad. And here we are, which we can go to war with against Siak, even though our infamy's not, look, not looking very good. But I've got to war with Hanoi, or Vietnam, just because we literally had a free annex Cassis Belly. And yes, this is what we look like right now. This is not great, but this is not too bad. We got literally all of Cambodia, 
the Siams. Going to war with them earlier on probably didn't do too much for us, but this is looking... This ain't, this ain't too bad, I'd say. It's pretty good. We got a lot of money. We're still working on steel steamers. I'm feeling pretty good about Southeast Asia right now. I'm loving it, man. They have soldiers? Not for long. No, no, no. Actually, Sinkiak. Uh, you know what? I'm going to move you guys over then. We're going to go ahead and go there and take them out using this army, maybe? Yeah, let's go and do that. That'd probably be a good idea. There you go. That's it on in. And actually, you could probably... Yeah, let's do that one right now. Oh, hello. Ashanti. Sure. Hey, we got rid of them. And Solomon Islands. UK. Guys, come on. You already have a lot of places. You already have pretty much all of India. You don't need any more territory. And, oh, they finally annexed Bali, huh? Where the heck is Bali? I have no idea. Oh, let's look it up. Bali. Not Balakasir. Oh, it's right. Oh, it's down here. Oh, there it is. You know what? I'm glad they have a lot of troubles down there. I'm glad we could take whatever they had. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, so you guys, you gonna need an engineer, which we don't have one. All right, well, whatever. Let's go to war, anyways. We're at war, so we might as well continue our warfare, our expansions, policies, because you don't know how long we're gonna be here. And if we can get a cat next, that'd be great. Wow, there's a lot of Brits down there, eh? Too many Brits for my liking. The Brits wanted to go to war with us, or did go to war with us, when the Germany went to war with us for Alsace Lorraine, which really sucked. But it is what it is, I suppose. Steel steamers, please. Yes, yes. Oh, Ottomans and Luxembourg. Not bad. Hey, there we go. Cool. And Luxembourg, because we can. Just because we can. Oh, look at this. The Bal oh, Balfour. Balfour Declaration. Let's see. His Majesty's government view with favor the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people, and we will use our best endeavors to facilitate the achievement of this object. Since we exert a significant influence in Judea and the Levant, the ancient birthplace of the Jewish nation, we can issue a declaration expressing a favorable attitude towards the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people there. Oh. Nice. Balfour Declaration, because we love Israel and we love Jewish people. Let's see. What's up next? Oh, I'm going to go and grab this. As much as I want to do the other stuff... It's still not 1890, so I think we'll do okay here. Uh, yep, they annex whatever, whoever. I don't really care. And Southeast Asia. Oh, beautiful. All right, so this might be a little bit too much territory, or at least in my mind, this might be a little bit too close to these guys up here, which... Actually, when do we go back to war? 84, let's see, 84. So in two years, oh, that's not too bad. I'm going to make another army down here too, so we'll have one army... Two army, and then... Actually, you know what? No, never mind. I'm going to actually tell you guys to go home or go with me back to France. Just because Germany will come a-knocking soon enough, and we've got to be ready. So so let's finish off this war quickly and hopefully lower some infamy. Oh, cruisers! Yes, finally some cruisers. I like cruisers. Uh, cruisers are not too bad, actually. I use them because they are... In my mind, I, I could be wrong. I could be right about this, though. They're basically the screens that you use for your navy. It's so like in Hoi 4, you got a bunch of screens that can protect your capital ships. Uh, so that's how I see these guys. Actually, are we waiting for somebody here? Hold on. You. Um, no, we need another artillery piece. Cool. Very nice. And this is where we're going to build most of the ships. I'm probably just going to get rid of you guys soon enough. But let's go and expand some cruisers. We can't probably afford too many, but just enough. Monitors. Oh, wait. Oh, we need level 4 port. God dang it. Urgh. Level 2. My goodness, guys. Construction budget? It's already maxed out, so... Oh, my goodness. You guys take so long trying to do anything. Oh, that sucks. Hey, at least we got this one. If you want to start doing this, that's fine with me. Actually, you guys actually go... Well, you're already heading that way. That's fine. Let's see if we improve relations with anybody. Shogun at Japan? Sure. Austria? Sure. I hate it that we are literally right below the two powers that are actually allied with each other. Their score is insane, but not too insane where we can't catch up. Nope. Solomon Isles. I wish it would be like, okay, you want Solomon Isles? We'll, we'll take something else in instead. Like something in Africa. That would be kind of nice. Oh. Ching oh. Something happening in Shanghai, huh? Nice. Oh, North Indian. Oh, that's not good. That's over here. Oh, they're not too strong. Oh, what happened to you? Oh, what the heck? But at least with this, we can make maybe a few more divisions. 
Steamer Convoy Production a throughput. Not bad. What's going on down here? Gold Coast. Alright, whatever. We'll go to war them next, probably. Good, good, good. Deal with these miscreants. Nice. Hey, not bad. Really not too bad at all. I'm glad this is all one region, so. Or one province, that's pretty nice. And we should be done with them soon. Time is on set, way to out, more socialists. Uh, I'll do one that gives us less socialists for now. And will that be enough? Probably, yes. This is just turning out so well for us. As much as I love them, which is actually very valuable, I want to go to war with it. These guys over here with the decisions. Oh, we can organize Laos? Oh, we need... Oh, we can't do that. Uh, Salavan and Pakse. What's Pakse? Okay, so we need these. But they're in the British sphere, which could piss off the British. They do like us, so we'll see what happens. Maybe we can do that, maybe we can't. But organize Vietnam's production. We need all core Vietnam states, which... I hate the I hate the the British. I don't see the French, but the British. God dang it, Britain! Oh, we can build the Titanic maybe too. We need dreadnoughts so. though. And claim Togo. We need the Wagadugu Waga, province owner Mosi is civilized. Mosi. Oh wait, Mosi's all that's out there. Hawet, Watorn, who? Let's double check this again. Claim Togo. The Jugu province owner Dahomey or Tamale province owner Ashanti. So we need that. Can we actually get over? Oh, it looks like we might be able to actually. Oh, that's where Ghana is. Yeah, this stuff. Volta, Ghana, Hawet, Ivory Coast, Eastern Mali. Well, we'll see what happens. And now it's time to have a little bit more fun, as we will say, in Africa, shall we? You, me, and 150,000 soldiers in Britain's African colonies. Wow. Oh, boy. Rubber. F oh, yeah, we got some rubber boys and girls. I love it. Oh, they're war with Spain? No, 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 no. It's time for that we get involved here. Spain, you get the heck out of here. This Africa place is mine. Oh, we have to fight these guys too. Uh, Puerto Rico. Oh, we actually rebelled from Spain. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You rebelled from Spain. Nice. Go on in, guys. You're only infantry, but that's all right. Good luck. To Homie and Ashanti. Dead prisons, if you like your brothers, go right ahead. But I personally prefer that one. Oh, they went to war Zulu, huh? Solomon Islands again. Up across rearrange, not bad. Oh, very nice. What do we have down here? Let's go to. Oh, there's, we're really split. New political party, Droita Nacionalista. Third nationalist? Is that was that what it trans, uh, translates into? Third nationalist, maybe? Huh. Well, let's take a look at this Luxembourg Arena. Where my Luxembourg daddy at? There you are. Uh. Acquisition Spanish to homey. Oh, we better move fast. We better move fast. Oh, wait. I want to see the political party. What is that? The right to... Oh, you're reactionaries. Okay. Protectionism take care Oh, not bad. They even have jingoism. My biggest problem, though, right now is that we got way too much uh, infamy. So I might just spend... Some... Actually, at this point, like, between now when we're in the early stages of really colonizing, like, really seriously colonizing and taking enemy states... Between now and the beginning of the next Great War, I think I'm just going to try to sit out a little bit and try to just lower our infamy. Because being a peace will actually help us out quite a bit. Let's get rid of that. Nice. Get to homie. That'd be so good. Nice. Oh. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Good. Oh. Ah, oh, legitimates are gone. Screw those guys. Hey, you want, you want to be an ally? God, God dang it, guys. Come on. Yeah, everyone loves Africa. Not for the Africans, just for Africa itself. Uh, don't quote me on that either. Like, we love Africa. Africa is a great place to be. Just don't be African? Oh my god, what the heck? Oh no, no, no. Let's go and do that anyway, though. Do we have anything here? Oh, we don't get that decision here. Huh. Violate decrees of 1883. Oh, it just goes with every year. We need to do compound steam engine still. Organize these great places. We might go to war with those guys. Asian farms, mines. Asian farms, mines. Africans. Oh wait, I thought we had another event here. Um. Oh, the Dutch. Oh, you. Urgh. 
No wonder, you pieces of lousy garbage. I must get rid of you somehow, some way. Actually, just go right there. Come here. And, oh. Oh, good God. But oh, we have quite a few armies here now that we should be able to put these guys down. But, we'll see off screen. Well, we have a diplomatic mission under siege. Oh, no. News reaches this from Tararza that the local ruling elites have thrown our ambassador out of the country and their troops are laying siege to our embassy with apparent intent to enforce that decision. This affair is developing into an enormous loss of international face. One can only wish to avoid the, through a formal declaration of war against Sarazza. Sire, how should we uh, respond? Let, let the dragon sleep? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bo to war by Jingo. By war. It is unfortunate now that we can't get down our infamy anymore, but you know what? They want what they want, and I want what I want, which we can also go to war with Akeb, but we're still dealing with the insurrection of rebels. And look at that. French Jambi's not bad. I've actually sent another army down here as well from China. To help contend with this area. We're looking not too bad, not too great though. Yeah. Not too bad, not too great. It's, it's definitely a struggle. And actually, we had so many rebels pop up that our li literacy level went down. That's insane. Oh, we got you guys right. Oh my gosh, 69,000. Oh, bad words. New store in Grenoble. Excellent. And we got some of that done too. Let's grab some military logistics next because we definitely, 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 definitely need that. You guys are going to finish those guys off there, which would be nice. Come on, it's only 800 guys. You have 5,000. We'll be back. Oh. Oh, god dang it. Are you kidding me again? Ah, I hate all these rebels. Why does France have to have so many rebels? Oh. Why do you bane me so with your rebellions? You know, I'm just going to go to war with them now, since we're going to go to war with these guys too. It, it, it won't even matter too much. Guangdong, how many times do we have to do this, old man? How many times? And we're just going to war with Akea as well, so. We're not exactly ready to go to war with them. Oh, and we're war with Trars as well. Go figure. And we're still doing the occupation, so I'm not too worried about that. Give us a little bit more time. You guys head up here. We're going to take these guys out as fast as we possibly can. Put you guys over here. Oh, look at this. Luxembourg. Well, why not? Where are you, Luxembourg? There you are. We're always very friendly with them, as well as the Austro-Hungarians. Or, or cordial. We're not even friendly. We're cordial. But at least 90% of our population can reach. Stupid rebels. Garbage rebels. That's what they are. A bunch of garbage feeders. Oh, what's going on here? Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's hold on? Hold on, hold on. What is. Okay, there's us, us, and us. War of the Tukardi Concession, which makes sense. Portuguese colonial conquest of the. Okay, so the Brits and the Portuguese, they want Dutch Sunda Islands. Also, I gave the Brits uh, Solomon Islands because I don't want to go to war with them. Versus the Spanish, Germans, and Dutch. Nice. Kill each other off. This could only be good for us. And you guys go up there too. Quickly, quickly, quickly conquer them. Nice. Uh, actually, oh, yeah, that's not bad. Very, very nice. Muy bueno, as some might say. Uh, anything down here? Nope. That sucks. Oh, wow, you... I love having engineers in the army. It just makes every single one of them do really well. And we gotta go to war with China as well next. And other places, but... Oh! Okay. Annex Koto? Well, god dang it. The Brits are just... Monsters, we'll say. How many divisions or brigades... They have no one up there. Okay. Oh, at least, as far as we know, they don't have anyone. Yeah, we gotta go with China. This opening us up is not a very good idea, but we need more money, so... When is that not the case? We always need more money. All right, let's go right here. So you guys, just gonna do that. It's fine. We need five things of infantry or actually artillery. So one, two, three. God, I love Vietnam. They might rebel a little bit, but man, there's so many bodies down there. I, I love Vietnamese bodies. There we go. Nice. I love the Vietnamese bodies. Don't quote me on that one either. Especially when I talked about the rhetoric of hate last time. It is what it is. Oh crap, we gotta go. Oh, we got it over here too. I hate rebels so much. Rebellions are such cringe. So so much cringe. Yeah, we need engineers. I don't think we have it. Actually, we did get you, so let's see. Oh, I'll do that too. There we go. Yeah, that'd be nice, actually. Nope. We still got to the Dutch. Hmm. Alright. Guangdong. Guangdong, son. You had a good chance of doing okay, but then you said no, and I still gotta go back to Africa. Don't wanna forget about them. Back to Africa we go. 
Leave him beer. Cy cyanide! Hey, look at that. We got something over here, too. I think I even gave him good health care, too. So, like, that's the one thing that they really, really wanted. And yet, they didn't want that either. So, you know, I'm not really sure what to say about these guys. Yeah, they want pro-military, state capitalism, jingoism, secularized, extended subsidies. Maybe. Um, there's 4.4%. 5.6. 5.27. Rehabilitation. I like that assimilation. I'm going to do that one. Because if they're going to rebel anyways, we might as well give them more stuff, right? Uh, we definitely got to go to... Oh my goodness, this is not looking good. Uh, armies are looking actually okay. It's just that they look sort of weak in a lot of areas. Oh god, come on, man. Yeah, I, I don't trust the Germans, as you can tell. <laughs> oh. uh, you're going up there, which actually is pretty good. You guys go up there next. And can we make any other larger arm... Oh, yes, we can. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Artillery, two, and then... Engineers, here we go. I'm trying to save our soldiers' lives by basically doing, um... Or should I really say it like this? Uh, when you have infantry, they're usually the guys that die. Artillery sometimes die too. Like I said this, I think, earlier in the campaign. I want to make sure that we have... Or we spare as many Frenchmen as possible. Compared to... <clears throat> What some might say are minorities in the country, so not saying anything, but I'm just prioritizing the lives of some over, over some of the other people. I'm, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying for now. I'll save other stuff later, but still. With a smile on my face. Rebels, why? Uh, and get going to. New store? Nice. God dang Guangdong. What a bunch of garbage, man. And let's finish up Trarza, actually. Uh, well, it's going to be a wob for that, which we just want to add them to our sphere of influence. Actually, get rid of this. Get rid of the worst troublemakers. Can we just propose peace? Actually. Oh, effective. Oh! Yeah, that's not going to cost any more. Yeah, that's not going to cost. Wait, hold on. Can I do that with, with other people down here? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! Oh, I'm going to invest more in Africa now. I should have been doing this before. Can we do this all over the place? No, we can't. Oh, that'd be so nice if we could, though. Oh, what is this? Oh, the Brits and the Dutch. I love it. Mm, oh, God, I love being a colonizer. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. We're going straight in. Uh, oh, actually, did America break their alliance with us? They probably did. Yes, they did. And, actually, would you... Anyone else here want to be allies? You're not looking very good. Uh, you're actually looking a little bit more formidable than Italy. But will you guys do this? No. Okay. Russian Empire. We can't increase relations yet. France. Germany. Sure, Japan. Yeah, okay, we need we definitely need more money. Holy crap. What happened to our bucks? Wait, what things? Oh. Why are you making me sad? Oh, it's because we're at war, probably. Come on, kill them off. Battle of Kong. That's nice. Put them down. Alright, so we got that done. I'm probably going to send these guys back to... That's actually looking not too bad. I kind of want Java, though. If we could take Java, that'd be... Oh, get all that sulfur. Yes, please. Oh, there's so much I want to do. But Africa and Africans. I love Africa. Are you serious, guys? I'm not going to order with Russia. No. You get out of here with that nonsense. Uh, breach loaded. We should probably do this stuff, but I don't feel like it yet. Anything else here? Let's grab some steel railroads, drilling and. Uh, uh, hmm, steel railroads. I love roads. I love roads so much. Never been to roads, but this up roads is what we want. My goodness, you guys take forever over here. We have to go back to war with China, too. Man, there's so many people I want to take out. So, I think for now... Okay. Oh, no. Up here is... Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me, son? Um, I think you guys are on the boat ride with us. Uh, this is probably the worst part of Vicky 2. Just all the rebellions you have. 
It sucks. It really sucks. Luxemburgerino. One more time. All right. We got a lot of population. That's nice. Come on. We're, we got to spawn more oil. We got to get more Robert Classics rediscovered. If you want to read about that, go right ahead. Uh, more liberal. That's fine with me. I wonder if we could just... No, can we get some military access? We should be able to, right? Well, they probably said no. Well then. Actually, for you guys. Oh, come on. Just just die for our amusement, man. Come on. Uh, I can't build any more brigades here. That sucks. How are they going... Hold on. Why are they going faster than us? Find him and kill him. That's the only option we have, so. Uh, this is nuts. No, you follow him, get rid of him. You're looking okay? Are we up here yet? Not yet. Battle of Bondaduku? Nice. Oh, librarians. Nope. Hey, no, 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 no. You're not going to. Oh, wow, we're out completely out of money. Holy crap. Well, higher taxes then. We can lower maybe naval spending just a little bit more. Social spending at oh god that's such a waste. Social spending twenty five hundred pounds for what? No 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 no. We gotta be making money here, man. All right, not enough money yet. There you go. Yeah, we gotta get some pensions or something or not pensions. Uh, we need more money. Oof. Oh, you're back here. Good. Hey, found telephones. Not bad. Not bad. We got a good amount of prestige though. Oof. Lux, oh, god dang it! I hate this so much. I need, I have to kill off Germany. We have to kill all those off. I feel like Yazov and TNO. We've got to get rid of them. Bonapartis is gone. Aleg. Magama. Oh, you said no to me. Why would I give that to you? So, mm mm. Uh, what do people want? Pro-military, uh, acceptable pensions. Uh, I'd prefer this one. I also prefer that one, just maybe they'll give the lower class some added benefits, maybe. So, with more so uh, social spending and such. Oh, what's happening here? A Dutch, acquired Dutch Sumat. Did you really think you were going to be doing well, Germany or Dutch people against the, the English or the British? Maybe. Maybe the Germans on their side, they thought they could do okay. What's costing us the most? Probably these subsidies. Let's grab some more money, actually. Mm. We do need investment banks anyway, so. Wow. Look at all that money we got now. Not much, but it's something. And now it's all gone. <laughs> They're both demobilizing. That sucks. Nope. Now we're friendly again. The Germans don't like that we're helping them out or trying to be friendly as possible. Oh my goodness. No, well, I think we know where we're going to end up. I'm just going to straight up annex these guys anyways. There's not much else that's going to be happening here, so... See you just a little bit. Right now, everyone, the Congress of Paris keep the Empire strong. Well, the great powers of Europe joined together in Paris to negotiate the future of the Balkans. While there was much contention, ultimately it was decided that the Ottoman Empire needed to be kept strong, and any demands placed on it should not weaken its un interests unduly. Few of the Antennes were pleased, and the Russians in particular, even though the Congress favored the Ottomans, it remains to be seen whether they will bow to European pressure and uphold the Congress's edict. This is how it must be. We get prestige. And they agree. The Ottoman Empire sent word to the European powers that it will abide by the decrees of the Congress. This proves to be proves to the French government that they are serious about working with the rest of Europe to maintain stability. So basically, earlier on, I got the choice whether we wanted to have stability in the Balkans or stability in the Ottoman Empire. I went with the Ottoman Empire just because they're, first of all, our puppet. We're not really a puppet, but uh, they are in our sphere and our ally to them. Now, apparently, we have Bosnia Herzegovina here. We have a portion of Bulgaria and, of course, Romania and a greater portion of Serbia. I want to keep the Ottomans strong because they already lost northern Iraq. Like, bruh. Like, seriously. There really wasn't any choice for me to do. So, very cool. I guess the British are over here. Uh, honestly, like, I've been struggling off screen trying to get more money. <laughs> I canceled pretty much all, most of the industrial subsidies. Not all of them, of course. I've been raising taxes, sl slashing things. 
So it's it's not been easy. Not much has happened. I've been almost in a perpetual war since you know we last saw each other. Just I'm trying to take over Mossy just so we can like make sure these guys don't get too much over here. And I'm taking uh, more territory over here. So not really much else has happened, honestly. Like uh, these guys are killing. Why is this so ugly? What what did you do? Uh, regardless. Uh, also Denmark of all places. They got Ethiopia, that Djibouti. I really want to go to war with China, but we're kind of stuck. So it is what it is. But I think I'll end it here just because I've been playing this for like. Two hours. Hello, Philippines. And hope you enjoy this episode. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. When we shall continue expanding our influence in the world. Trying to make our budget better. And hopefully can colonize. Oh, actually, we'll have a lot more colonization done since 1890. But I'll see you then, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.